Finally guys, WinLated is capable of emulating GTA 5 on Mali GPU Android devices and this is the biggest update of WinLater Android for MediaTek and Exynos processor Android devices. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up the latest WinLater 10.1 on a Mali GPU Android device and emulate your favorite PC games including even DirectX 10 games with the help of best settings as well as gameplay. So before getting started, if you guys are new here, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel and thanks to Bruno Dev for making this mind-blowing update and working on the Vortex graphics driver. Let's jump right into our today's video. Alright guys, let's get started through our today's video. So I have already added the latest WinLater Android 10.1 update which is the biggest update for Windows emulation on Android especially on Mali GPU Android devices because in the changelog you guys can see the Vortex universal graphics driver has been improved by quite a lot and it is now capable of emulating games like GTA 5 on MediaTek or Exynos processor Android devices. Before getting started, Let's talk about what is the device that I am using for today's video. It is the Redmi K50i. But unfortunately, the variant that I have right here only has 6GB of RAM out of which 2GB is actually available. So this is very less RAM for proper Windows emulation on Android and this comes with a Mali G16 GPU and a MediaTek Dimensity 8100 processor. With all of that out of the way, let's start setting up this emulator right away. When you open the WinLater 10.1 on a Mali GPU for the first time, it will ask you to add the assets which you just have to tap on allow afterwards it will finish setting up. After that we can start applying the best settings by tapping on the three lines and going into settings. Scroll down here make sure to choose the box 64 version as 0.3.6 Choose the preset as performance, duplicate it as usual and set the safe flags level to 0. Now the greatest part about WinLater Android 10.1 is that you can use this on Mali GPU just like how you set up a Windows emulator for Snapdragon processor Android device. None of the steps will be different which makes it very amazing. So here we will select the performance preset that we just created. You will need to tap on the plus button and create yourself a brand new container. Screen size make sure to set it to 800 by 600. Graphics driver make sure to choose Vortex universal graphics driver which is supported for Mali GPU and even unsupported Snapdragon processors. Afterwards make sure to enable show FPS audio driver as pulse audio and that's about it. In terms of DXV key we'll need to make sure that the version is 1.10.3 for games to actually boot. Afterwards go to advanced. Select the box 64 preset that you just created after startup selection should be aggressive and that's about it make sure to tick mark all of this and tap on this tick mark button. Once that has been done your windows emulator container will be successfully created and I'll simply press the play button to show you guys that this is actually capable of rendering even DirectX 10 games on our android devices. When the emulator opens make sure to toggle full screen. Afterwards we'll just go to the start section where we'll run a quick benchmark test to see how well does our graphical output work. Test the 3D and as you guys can see graphics are being rendered properly and the performance that you will get inside this version of WinLater on Mali GPU is comparable to Snapdragon processor Android devices. So this is a huge props like seriously the performance that you get is very amazing. Now on Mali GPU Android devices especially if you have low RAM the emulator will crash many times because you need at least 8 GB of RAM to be able to emulate PC games on a Mali GPU without any crashing issues. Regardless once the emulator actually starts we'll go to the D directory and here is Grand Theft Auto 5 which I have stored on my Android device. Now before if you used to try GTA 5 on any Mali GPU Android device it did not boot like there was no way that GTA 5 would work on a Mali GPU Android device because it is a DirectX 10 game and it wasn't possible to run it using Virgil graphics driver but finally with the help of Vortex graphics driver for Mali GPU released in WinLater 10 and 10.1 playing GTA 5 on MediaTek or Exynos processor Android devices is finally possible. So so here as you guys can see our Grand Theft Auto 5 is actually about to boot on a Mali GPU Android device. Just take a look at this. Our GTA 5 has successfully booted. This is very crazy. Now I'll go to input controls, I'll go to settings, go to import profile and go to this section. Make sure to add the GTA 5 on screen touch control input profile by tapping on the OK button. But here I have already added it so I'll select it. We have the proper on screen touch controls. Now the game will load. But once again as I mentioned before if you want to emulate GTA 5 on your Android device regardless of what processor it has you need to have at least 8 GB of RAM. Now I have already imported a save file so I don't know if the game will work or crash but GTA 5 would never boot on a Mali GPU before but it has finally booted and if you have enough RAM then your game will also be playable. So let's wait and find out if our game works or not. And no guys unfortunately WinLater just crashed and not just WinLater but my entire Android device crashed due to not having sufficient RAM. 
So this is not the fault of WinLater. This is the simple fact that this Android device just does not have enough RAM to be able to emulate GTA 5. Well, what about GTA 4? I actually tried emulating GTA 4 on this Mali GPU Android device recently and as you guys can see, it actually booted. Now GTA 4 is not that heavy compared to GTA 5, it's almost 10 times less the size of GTA 5 and you can actually emulate it especially on your low-end Android devices without facing any crashing issues. Well. Previously, if you tried GTA 4 on a Mali GPU, it used to have a lot of graphical issues, constant stuttering issues, constant crashing issues, and even black screen issues. Whereas finally, we don't really need to use Wine D3D, we don't really need to use Virgil Graphics Driver, and if we use the Votec Graphics Driver in WinLater 10.1, GTA 4 is completely playable. I have decreased the graphics settings and we have successfully launched our game. You guys will be able to see GTA 4 is 100% working on my Mali GPU Android device, and the performance which we are getting is mind blowing almost 30 fps at the top left corner unbelievable to be honest because i did not expect my device to give that much fps especially considering that it is it is a low-end device and it is giving performance comparable to that of snapdragon processors mali gpu android devices are horrible in terms of performance during emulation but you can see finally it is working without any issues and what else can we ask for well here we go, the game crashes. That is unfortunately the problem. <laughs> game crashes because of insufficient RAM. Well, I do have another MediaTek processor Android device, which is the OnePlus Pad with Dimensity 9100 and 12GB of RAM. So I'll be definitely testing out GTA 5 on that Android tablet on a Mali GPU. So don't miss out that video. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.